Welcome back boys and girls. Today we are talking watermelon vodka. I've got five fun and easy cocktails that you can make uh, with whatever watermelon vodka you've got. Uh, but this will also work uh, for your watermelon gins as well. I've got um, uh, Whitley Neal's Watermelon Kiwi Gin. This is last year's bottle. The new bottles, the new livery is green on the front and it's now actually Russian. It's made in Russia as opposed to up in Liverpool <laughs> in the UK. Now quick rundown of the cocktails before we dive in. I've got a simple twist on the Cosmopolitan there. Yes we have got the white frothy head, we like that. I've got my favourite cocktail of 2021 uh, and I've made it with that. It's stunning with that which is watermelon kiwi. It works just as well if not slightly better with the vodka, that is amazing. A uh, watermelon and honey, Kaipiroska. Uh, a watermelon spritz with a twist. It's not Aperol in there, it's not Campari in there. And I've got a kind of watermelon, apple, tropical highball. All five of these are stunning. So the first cocktail, we'll start off with a nice, simple flip on a Cosmopolitan, kind of a watermelon Cosmopolitan. So standard ingredients, uh, watermelon and lime vodka. Uh, my go-to orange liqueur, swap it, it's Fortunello, it's a kumquat liqueur, swap it out for Grand Marnier, Triple Sec, Cointreau, all that kind of stuff, orange liqueurs. Got some orange bitters, because I want it slightly more orangey uh, vibrance to it. I'm not gonna flame an orange zest, essentially. Uh, I've got cranberry juice, cranberry and raspberry juice. You know me, I don't have cranberry juice. I, have, I like cranberry and raspberry juice. Uh, touch of lime juice, and then I'm gonna put foamers because I love the white frothy layer on top of my sort of cosmos and things like that. So nice, uh, simple one. So we're gonna shake down. We're gonna start off with the vodka, uh, and I'm gonna do a 60 ml double bubble of the vodka. Uh, it's a lovely watermelon notes off that. Next ingredient I'm gonna go for is the orange liqueur, uh, and I'm going for 15 ml, half an ounce of uh, Fortunella. And then while I've got my jigger in my hands, I'm gonna go for the cranberry juice. I'm just gonna do 30 ml, slightly more than a normal Cosmo. A normal Cosmos are just slightly pinkish in color, but I, I kind of like a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go for my lime juice. I'm just gonna go 10 ml, third of an ounce of uh, lime juice. Right, and then I'm gonna go for the bitters. Go and Angostura orange bitters, uh, just because they're at the front and I haven't used them for ages. So uh, Angostura orange bitters, I'm gonna go two dashes of that. One, two. And then to get that kind of white, nice frothy foam on top. As, as always, I'm not saying this is an egg white cocktail. I just love these foamers for this effect. So uh, to eight drops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna do a dry shake to take it from that to within five seconds, it will be nice and frothy. Look at that. Right now I'm just gonna ice up and shake down. I'm just gonna use bits of ice that are frozen together, look. Uh, so that'll do plenty of ice. And then we're gonna do a nice hard fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. And then to serve up, I'm going for my kind of my new favorite coupe glass. So now I've started doing my thumbnails better. Uh, differently, sorry. I kind of like that. It didn't really work on my old style thumbnails, but it works now. Anyway, uh, we're gonna double strain this to get rid of all the little tiny shards of ice. Look at that. Right, there we go. Might, might be a bit low for some of you, but we shall see. And then I've got, I've only just got them out of the freezer. I've had a, I've had a little, a fail, but basically I'm gonna do, I'll do it for the thumbnail. I'm gonna do a little uh, cranberry. So I'm gonna do a little cranberry kebab. I keep my fruit in the freezer, so. Don't like wastage and all that. Uh, but yeah, I'll do a little kebab. That is gorgeous. There's something about watermelon and cranberry, especially watermelon and cranberry and that raspberry juice. I really, really like that. It's got the bitterness of a normal cosmopolitan. It's not sweet. There's no sugar syrup in there. Uh, so it's got that kind of overriding Cosmo thing, but the watermelon notes just kind of elevate it to a different level. Well, now cocktail two, uh, this does need a name, so we'll whack it in the, uh, in the group for the legends. You guys can name this up for my cocktail book. This is very, very similar to the favorite co my favorite cocktail of the year so far. Uh, I'm just slightly changing a couple of ingredients out, but this was previously the uh, Whitley Neal's watermelon and kiwi gin. I wanna try it with the vodka because that with the kiwi gin was amazing. Uh, so we've got the water, we've got JJ's watermelon and lime vodka. I've got passion fruit syrup. Uh, I've got velvet falernum instead of orgeat syrup this time uh, and lime juice. So another shaken cocktail. Uh, we'll start off with the first ingredient which is our vodka. And again, I'm going for a 60 ml double bubble of the watermelon vodka. 
And then next up, I'm going for the passion fruit syrup. This is, don't forget, this is sweet. So if you're going for a passion fruit puree, you might need to adjust and add a bit of sugar. Uh, but I'm just going 15 mil, half an ounce of um, Monin's passion fruit syrup. And then to give us those kind of limey um, sort of almond notes without it being really sweet like orange, yeah, I'm going for 10 mil. Oh, the smells, the aromas already. Uh, 10 mil of uh, velvet for Lernum. And then I'm going quite citrus heavy for, well, ish. I'm going for 22 and a half mil, three quarters of an ounce uh, of this. Might need dialing back slightly, but I hope not. And then we're just gonna ice this down, plenty of ice, and then give it, as always, a good hard fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. And then to serve this up, I'm going Nick and Nora glass, exactly the same as how I served this up. You could do it in a little rocks glass over ice. That is not a problem, but just double strain it to get rid of all those little tiny shards of ice. We could have even done a little white frothy head on top of that, but decided not to. And then garnish, I have done good, they, free, they defrost a little bit quicker. I've got um, a frozen raspberry uh, kebab on top. That is every bit as good as what it was with that. I love it with the falernum. It's not quite as sweet as, as what that is. I think the gin is slightly sweeter than the vodka in that sense. That is just gorgeous. The falernum comes through, the passion fruit comes through, the watermelon comes through, the lime is bang on. I don't know whether to call that a daiquiri or what, but that is just stunning. So cocktail three, another nice and easy one. Essentially a honey and watermelon kaiparoska. I uh, think kaiparinha, but obviously as with vodka, it's an Oscar at the end, so it's kaiparoska. If you want to go kaiparinha, cachaca. Uh, so we've got the watermelon and lime vodka. I've got honey syrup. If you want to make it yourself, so instead of buying it, two parts honey, one part hot water, just to loosen up and make it even more runny honey. Uh, I've got uh, Miss Betty's Bitters black pepper and cardamom. I love that flavor combo with definitely that gin, but so hopefully this is gonna work a treat. And then obviously some lime juice. So this is gonna get made straight in a glass. So I'm gonna rock that rocks glass out this time. I haven't done that for ages. You love that Diablo, love this. I've got highball somewhere, it's, it's tucked away. Anyway, uh, normally when you're making kaiparinias, you kind of want the, uh, the the fresh lime, you muddle it down and get that zest. But I just like being faff free. So I've got lime juice already there. Ingredient number one, uh, we're going for a 60 ml, a double bubble of your vodka. We're then going for the honey syrup and we're gonna go for 15 ml, half an ounce of honey, honey syrup, oh, lovely. And then while the jig is still in my hand, I'm gonna go for 15 ml of lime juice. You could up the lime juice very slightly if you wanted to, but I don't think you'll need to. So 15 ml. And then the final ingredient is these bitters. Miss Pe Miss Miss Peppers? Miss Betters. Come in. Miss Betters bitters, um, black pepper and cardamom. And this should work a treat. So uh, can we see that? Hopefully you'll see that on my background there. I'm going for two of those. One, two. So just sort of two pipettes. Now I'm just gonna fill up with ice. I've got, uh, well, nearly fill up with ice. I've got crushed ice here. So one, another one. Crushed ice, that'll do for now. Then gonna take a long spoon or whatever you've got and just gonna give it a good stir, good churn up to combine all the flavors. Then I'm just gonna to top up with more crushed ice, nice mountain on top. And then obviously the obvious garnish would be kind of like watermelon and that, but again, fat free, I don't do wastage. Um, so I've just got a dehydrated uh, lime. Let's get that one, there we go. Nice dehydrated lime on top. Love that. Oh, that's so good. The honey works very well with the watermelon flavors. I do get the black pepper coming through there on the bitters, the lime, the citrus through that. That is stunning, love it. So the next cocktail, I'm going for a watermelon spritz. I love watermelon flavor with an Aperol spritz. So I wanted to try it kind of my way, my go-to Aperol uh, equivalent. Uh, so we've got the vodka, the obviously the watermelon and lime vodka. Uh, we've got the Fever Trees Mediterranean tonic water and I've got Prosecco. I like using the Mediterranean as my soda replacement in spritzes. Really good, good, good hack there. And the Pampel, I've talked about this loads, so I'm not gonna dwell on it too much. It's an Apero, think Campari. Campari's really bitter, top of the tree. The next one down would be Aperol, not quite as bitter. Next one down for me is Pampel. Grapefruit forward, stunning, stunning Apero. I'm gonna rock it out in there. No need to shake, obviously. Uh, so I'm going for my vodka. Gonna do a double bubble of the vodka. And I'm all cat-candid again for this. There we go. 
And then I'm going for my Pampel, give you a close up on there. Honestly, this is stunning. I love this so much. Uh, I'm going for 30 mil actually, one ounce of this, because it's not kind of as bitter as definitely Campari, but um, Aperol. Then I'm going for Fever Trees Mediterranean Tonic Water. Mediterranean Tonic Water, if I'm trying to, I'm trying to look in my monitor, because they label is always around funny. Um, Mediterranean Tonic Water, it's kind of a citrusy tonic water, a bit like her herbs. I think it's definitely rosemary. I think it might even have some thyme in it. Don't hold me to that, but there's, there's def definitely a herb or two in there. So 60 mil double bubble of that. Right, and then time to build this out with uh, a bit of fruit in the garnishes. Obviously, I faff free. I always do standard like oranges and maybe raspberries and a bit of mint in there. I'm just gonna add some ice just to start off with. Uh, one more cube of ice, look at that. Oh, that's a whopper. Uh, I've got some, then I've got some frozen raspberries out there. I've got three frozen raspberries and I'm gonna go for maybe two, what have we got? Two, two dehydrated oranges just in there, but just use normal oranges if you want. Then I'm just gonna kind of gently stir that up, not too hard, because we don't wanna get rid of too much of the fizz out of the, uh, the tonic water, but just give that a stir to combine the flavors. I'm then gonna add just a touch more ice. There we go, two cubes. And then I'm gonna go for my Prosecco. Oh, that came off. I don't know how fizzy this is. Um, it's about a week old now, but it should be sealed. Um, getting there. I'm just gonna top out. It will be roughly, oh, still fizzy, will be roughly uh, 60 mil. Uh, roughly give or take of Prosecco or Carver or Champagne. Another final very gentle stir just to combine that through. Don't need to do too much. And then just to garnish, as I said, I've got my sprig of mint. We're gonna need a bit half of that. I wake the aromas and garnish with mint there. Oh, classic spritz bitterness. The fruity notes, you've got the watermelon and the grapefruit. It's kind of like a summer I don't want to say sweet, don't, don't think sweet because of that, but fruitier spritz, and I love it. It's, it's gorgeous. Watermelon, watermelon Aperol spritzes are amazing anyway, but watermelon with the grapefruit. Oh. So your fifth and final cocktail, uh, Legends. This will need uh, naming up, so I'll tap you up in the community in a week or so for a name for this. I've just kind of called it Watermelon Fizz, but that's as crazy as I go. Uh, so this is our fun and fruity one. We've got the vodka, watermelon lime vodka. I've got elderflower liqueur. Uh, Giffard is my go-to, I love it. Peeper. Me personally, I think it's the best one. But think Saint Germain, Chase in the UK as well. They're great. They are cracking elderflower liqueurs. Uh, I'll come to turtle juice in a second. I've got pressed apple juice or cider if you're in the US. Uh, but pressed apple juice. Don't use the clear concentrate stuff in the UK. Pressed. You want 100% pressed juices. They taste so much better. Uh, fresh lime juice. And then I've got Gunner's turtle juice. It's kind of a soda, not as sweet as your Sprites, your Tangos, your Fantas. This, I love this, this is my favorite kind of that. It's also not as fizzy as well, but the turtle juice is kind of coconut, mango, and this subtle hint of lime. So we'll finish on a, a shaken cocktail. Um, we're gonna go, I'm just gonna keep it standard. 60 mil, double bubble of, um, of your vodka. Lovely. Then I'm going for 15 mil of the elderflower liqueur, half an ounce of that. We never shake anything fizzy, so we do that at the end. Uh, I'm going for my pressed apple juice, my cider. Uh, I'm going for 30 mil, one ounce of that. And then I'm going for my lemon juice, and I'm gonna do 15 mil, half an ounce of lemon juice. Now we're gonna ice up. Plenty of ice in your cocktail shaker. Never, never skimp on the ice. As much ice as we can. And then we're gonna give it a hard and fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. And then I'm gonna get my pet turtle out to play. So we've got Gunner. <laughs> I, I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff is gorgeous. Not over sweet, but really does pack a punch of mangoes and coconut. I really like this. So we're going for 60 mil, a uh, double bubble. So you can see it's not, it's not that fizzy. And then to serve up, uh, I'm going for back for this. I kind of like this glass every week when I use that. I'm going for that, uh, and I f always forget how big this glass is. So I'm going to, actually, I'm gonna do fresh ice. What are we gonna do? Four cubes of fresh ice, and now I'm just gonna do three, three, three cubes. <laughs> Four cubes, there we go, perfect. And then just to garnish, uh, I've got some 
uh, some more faff free again. I keep saying it, faff free. I've got a dehydrated apple, which I think will be amazing on top there. Now I've got another sprig of mint, or whopper of a sprig of mint out of the garden. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, another sprig of mint, again, back of the hand, await the aromas, and there we go. That is glorious as well, proper refreshing. Notice there's no sugar syrup, no active sweetener in there. But that is beautiful. The delicate elderflower notes. I love the turtle juice because you just kind of get those subtle tropical notes in there. The watermelon comes out to play as well. That is really good, really good. So there we have five awesome, stunning watermelon kind of vodka cocktails for you. Uh, big old thumbs up if you like the recipes. If you want even more inspiration, dive into the video and playlist that's popping up on screen. And if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button.